Hey guys, welcome back. So this is my second layout for build a page. And this is my kit that's based on Echo Park Paper Company, Away We Go. And this kit was from the scrap room. And I had also brought in some Scrap and Happy Studio Flair as well as Scrap and Happy Spiegel Mom Scraps Sequins. This was from a collab with Scrap and Happy Studio, not with these flair, but it was with a collection. So it's super cute. And I still have some sequins left. Mm -hmm. Okay, also to go with this kit from the scrap room, I have some unused sticker pieces that are super cute die cuts and some puffies. So I'm going to see how far I can get with these pieces. Now, I've got also over here some really gorgeous scraps that I'm probably going to map photos with and all that kind of stuff. I have this great textured navy cardstock that I think is going to be my base. So I'm going to take away one of them. I don't need both. And the challenge I'm working on, it's from Scrapbooking Cards Today, and it's to use two or more photos. And I believe it was from Persnickety Prints. So I'm going to start with this piece. My photos have me kind of looking downward, my husband just putting up with me, that poor thing. What he goes through with my photos and scrapbooking, but you know, it's how it is. So I'm going to have my photos kind of here. I think I'm going to trim them out and have them you know, wonky a little bit, one on top of the other. But what I was thinking of doing, since I do have a couple of absolutely gorgeous pieces, this is four by six cards, so I think I'm gonna use this side for my purposes and this. Let me go ahead and trim my branding strip off because I'm gonna use this as a full 12 by 12. And same thing for this piece right here. I want to get started with it and see how it's going to evolve. I have a partial idea. So I'm basically wanting to create strips here and a couple thinner ones over here with the same pattern papers. Okay, so I have these. Why am I feeling like I'm missing something? Look at how gorgeous this paper is, guys. Um, oh, here it is. I thought I was. And I also have this one. So what I wanted to do is break up these kind of bold white background prints with this one here. So I also do very much like the idea though, and I'm not even measuring guys, I'm just going for it. I like the idea of having a nice little amount of all of these prints on, and then I'm going to just layer them you know, however, I don't know. We're just going to wing it. We're winging the whole thing. When aren't we winging it in scrapbooking, guys? Okay, so I like these guys. I'm thinking that my hot air balloons are going to be this layer. Then I'm going to have this layer. Then, do I want it? I don't know. Like, do I want it on top? Ooh, I like the on toppiness, I think. With this and this, I don't know if I have too many hot air balloons. I may or may not. I don't know. Yes, I do. Okay. Too many by whose standards? I don't know. This is just what I had decided. So I'm going to have this like so. And I want the luggage to show. Okay. I, apparently, I want it like that. Great. So we see all that kind of stuff. And I want a smaller strip of all three as well over here. So let me get one cute little strip of hot air balloons cut out. Cute. Same kind of thing. I'm just going to go ahead and trim the same pattern slash designs. And then see, just little ones over here. And I want to trim out my photos, map my photos roughly a bazillion times, get all of these pieces on, however, and then I'll be right back. Oh, and I'm wanting to make sure to use lots of these if I can. And then this bit over here has 
my title stuff. So this is probably going to come together really, really quickly because I have all of these great patterns and all of these things that I want to get on here. Now, when I was looking at what I had left of this kit, because, you know, I've already designed with it, I saw this word adventure, and I think I'm going to have it run this way. I don't do that often, but it just seemed like it was asking for that. So, you know, who am I to say no? Okay, I'm going to do all of this stuff, get all this put down, and I'll be so right back. I've got these strips popped on, right? And I'm I'm liking it. I'm not really sure exactly where I'm going, but I'm liking it. And I matted my photos with a bunch of my pattern paper scraps. I love when I'm able to use lots of my stuff, lots and lots. Like I said, I've already done a layout with this and it's a, um, and it's not even a full collection I started with. I started with six of the pattern papers. It's not bad. Okay, I have that. Now, I do know I want to do this adventure word, but I'm going to pop it up on foam tape, so that's going to take like a year. That's fine. Um, and I also want to use some of these bits. So let's see. If I went like this, eh, I will do my best. I'm going, going to go ahead and use some of these pieces in between the layers, maybe. I just really want to make sure to uh right about there really want to make sure to use some of these gorgeous goodies that come with the collection now since this was a scrap room kit i had received one of the sticker sheets so i'm sure there's all kinds of other cool sticker sheet things that were a part of this collection i just didn't personally have them oh that works out very nicely. So I'm going to do this with a bunch of the stickers, which is going to make it even more interesting. And I'll be right back. So I have my little stickers stuck down. So that's what I was talking about. I wanted them connected to this side, but they're also popped up. So a little bit of interest. My photos down, this one's popped up on a little bit of foam, actually just on this side, because this was dimensional enough. I know I want a cluster going here. So I started looking at pieces. I pulled pieces off of the sticker sheet that I really, really, really liked. I mean, I like them all, but ones that pertain to this whole like on a plane kind of vibe. Now, let's see, let's go anywhere. That's kind of cute. I could have that like that. Now, I, I was looking at this and I'm like, it's kind of really sticking out a little bit too much. So it's probably going to have to wait unless, nope just gonna have to wait so I'm digging that obviously photo op will work really nicely just you know anywhere but right there looks like it's gonna be the ticket great escape is rather cute too hmm I'm not sure okay now I also want to remember that I've got these amazing puffies that says adventure and so does this mm. it's kind of like extra means I'm probably going to end up with another layout from this little kit, which I think is great. Look at this enjoy your stay and the little suitcase. <gasps> That's going to be cute. All right. So the little suitcase, maybe if I go like that, the little suitcase can be a part of that side. I have a big suitcase too. Ooh, UPS just pulled up guys. So will this stick out enough if I have this over here? and this on top. I hope so, because it's really cute. Let me get that little puffy piece out. Let me get these pieces on. And my ATG ran out while I was filming, so I'm going to be using my little whipper snapper. It's just not quite as sticky. So if I have that on an angle, I'm digging that. And I have this kind of straight. Oh guys, I did that, but it has to come over more because I have all of this luggage. Okay. Nope, still has to come over. You would think I have any idea what I'm doing. Okay, if I do that, that lines up. We'll just have these kind of cute. Wander often is going to be coming out a bit. There we go. We will build all of this up. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Okay, I have these big pieces up here that look like postage stamps, and I think they're a 
adorable. So I can do this, flying the friendly skies on that one. I'm gonna tuck this in to a cluster going this way. I like this enjoy your stay piece sticking out there. So I'm really just clustering here and here. That's it. Not using these three pieces. That's fine. Got to figure out. Ooh, I'm going to pop this one up on some dimension. And I have a piece here that needs to be used up. So UPS guy just pulled up and I think he brought something across the street. It's always so disappointing. So sad. Okay, so airport, and it's kind of pointing up at our photo, which is fun. Ooh, what if I stick this up? <gasps> I like that. Okay, we're going to put airplane up too. In that same cluster, that cluster is like getting tons of play. Let's see if I put this on even remotely correctly. So all of that is going up. Awesome. So I have all of these pieces that all kind of look navy and and sea foam, aqua, etc., which is kind of interesting. So I'm going to put this one straight down. And this one I'm going to pop up a little bit. Which hmm maybe a piece like this. And I had this piece already chopped on my desk. Eh, I still have to cut it. Have this piece. I still want to get some flare on in sequins. So we've got some things to do yet. All right, so I'm going to have that kind of clean with this line. Ooh, I know what I can do to get a little bit of color. Let's go ahead and put a geotag at the base and this cute little getaway puffy. We can tuck right in, cute. Okay, now we have a camera there. Oh, I don't think I can bring in another camera and I love all of my cameras. We have escape too. I think that is cuteness. All right, I'm gonna, I don't want it to over the sun. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera back on my sheet, my big sticker sheet. I have that. All right, used almost everything. Look at this poor block. I use it just for putting my stickers on. Okay, so do have puffy, puffy, puffy. So I guess I have one, two, three clusters in a way. It's kind of the way it's gone. Now I do have the hot air balloon paper here, but I'm not really using it for the hot air balloons. I just like it. Um, how about vacation adventure for my title? Because, you know, I have it. Let's see. Come on. I'm trying to get that little tiny puffy bit out of the way. And I think that's all I have in the way there. Now, I haven't used the black that's in this collection anywhere else. So I hope it'll be okay. There we go. Okay, I did go ahead and add that puffy right there since I've seen you. So now I have three Scrap and Happy Studio Flare that I have adhesive on. And I'm going to pop them on and then I need to get some sequins on. So let me get my glue bottle standing the way it's supposed to be standing so it will adhese. And I'll come back and show you when I have these on and the sequins and we'll wrap this up. Okay guys, this is this layout done. Lots of fun clustering and bits. I have sequins here. My enamel, or not my enamel dots, my flare, flare down here, sequins over here, sequins over here, and let's see, flare, flare, flare. So that completes my layout. I even used cardstock, guys. I don't use cardstock enough, so there you go. Tons of cardstock on display. All right, I am going to go ahead and get still shots of all these goodies and have links down below for the other Build a Page creators. And I'll be back ever so soon with the next layout, guys. Should be up tomorrow. Okay.
Bye for now.